what Ajayabhan said. It's not physics, it is not chemistry, it is not the domain, it is not the subject. But the way of understanding everything around us is science. So obviously we should all be, we want to understand the world we live in, am I right? Do we want to be like a rock? Do we want to be like a rock? No, we have to understand. And understanding itself is an excitement. You know, when you started walking, maybe when you were one year old or one and a half years old, your mother was always surprised that you would fall down and hurt your knees, hurt your hands, hurt your legs and so on. What would your mother do? Hold you firmly near the waist, then near the shoulder pits, then hold one hand, then finally one finger. When you learned to walk, what did you do? Pull your finger and start running. Mothers would be worried. The child would fall and hurt and so on. But you wanted to run. If your mother said, go, don't go to that room, you would ask, why? Why should I not go? Your mother would say, there is some guma, there is bhuta, something like that. Then you would deliberately go, when your mother is not there, you would go there only and say, what is that? This is curiosity. Curiosity is trying to know everything that you have around you. Ask questions. I'm sure every one of you have asked hundreds of questions every day, right? Now do you ask how many questions? No, why? You are all made to? Close your mouth, lift your mouth and keep quiet. In at home and in school. Let us see whether it is necessary to close your mouth or stop mouth. Let's see that. That's an important thing today. Curiosity is central to everything. It's not only human beings. Even animals are quite curious. The cough of a cow jumps, runs and all that. Every animal does that. Am I right? So curiosity is central to life and more so to us. It is that curiosity that we should retain as the first requirement for learning and therefore science begins its roots, has its roots in curiosity. If we lose curiosity, learning stops. Am I right? We should all do that. Now there will be questions and you should be able to get more and more curious. What do you learn when you are very young? When your mother was watering a plant, you ask, Amma, why do you want why do you water that plant? Your mother would say, the plant is thirsty, it also requires water like so. Then you would stop there. Where is this moth? <coughs> your mother will somehow, she can't uh, teach you beyond your knowledge, so she would say, uh, the best inside the ground. My mouth is upside, uh, outside, and why is it inside the ground? Then, does it have... How does it move?
ಇದರಲ್ಲೇ ವೈಡ್ ಹಾಕ್ಸ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ರಾ scientist c b raman so with that let us see how to move forward to something very very exciting for all of you ha ha please so they have autos coming okay. so we are live telecasting this okay okay so i can continue as if right so let's look at what science is all about why should we do science i told you science is about understanding the world we live in if we have to understand the world we live in then we have to constantly keep questioning hypothesizing doing experiments and getting more and more information information is a basic thing but how to use that information for better understanding in other words it gives you knowledge and knowledge and understanding help you to see how you can use your what you have learned for ultimately improving the world we live in say the quality of life see it helps to create new technologies you know we had one time phones only with cards that is with wires running and getting connected but today we have mobile phones are there wires hanging around the phone no cordless phones have come and you have the television you have so many technologies which you have seen just before you arise in the last 10 12 years as you, as you have been growing as kids you have seen so much of technology so obviously if you do science it helps you to create new technologies 
it enables to emerge new applications. Imagine global warming. We are all hearing that, am I right? All of you know we are heading for a global warming. When global warming happens, sea levels are supposed to rise. Many crops may not grow on this planet. So people have to find a solution. People have to live on this planet. Therefore, new methods. Do we may go and build our homes inside oceans? We don't know. Do we build it in space? We don't know. Do we move on to a new planet after discovering? We don't know. So whatever we do not know becomes known with newer thoughts, newer technologies, and applications. And technology has made us easily share what we know to the whole world. It's a global village we call. What does it mean? Whatever is happening here can be heard by somebody sitting in New York or uh, Sydney or any place right away. In, in a split second, the message, the message reaches there. Therefore, it helps to share findings and we get a much better world to live, provided we use science in the positive way. So this is the advantage of learning science. We should all do science, therefore. You are all students of science. Am I right? Yes, sir. Is science interesting or is science very boring, difficult? Yes, you know, the one way you can make it not just interesting, but great and part of your life, Provided you start asking questions again. Don't hesitate asking questions. The teachers will help you answer questions. If they don't, you're all capable of learning by yourselves. Am I right? How many of you believe that you can learn by yourselves? Raise your hands. All of you can learn by yourselves. You don't need anybody's help. When you were young, drop your hands. When you were young, you couldn't stand and walk. You learn to walk, you learn to run, you learn to jump. Am I right? So everything you have learned. So you are able to understand several things intellectually also. So if you put the right efforts, adopt the right methods, 100% sure you are all capable of learning. Those who start learning by themselves, not depending on others, will do better in life. Agreed or not agreed? If you always depend on somebody else, if, if you depend only on your mother to give you food all the time, cook and give you, one day you'll start. But if you learn to cook food for yourself, you will never start. So you must learn to be a self-learner. Therefore, science teaches you also how to become a self-learner because your curiosity takes you further and further. Therefore, let us see some important things relevant to today's topic. Roman got his Nobel Prize for what? Scattering of light. Very good. You know the word scattering and all that. Let us see what scattering means. He was always curious. He was always asking a lot of questions, right? From flowers, color of roses, color of flowers, colors of leaves, so many things. He was always curious and he was observing and giving his own explanations. And the life around him was always very, very active and high ener filled with high energy. So, we are not going to talk much about it, but let's see what are those sources of light. We all know something called light. Can we see light? No? Yes? We can't see light. We can see? Where is light coming from? You can see. But light by itself? You can only recognize a beam of light if it eliminates some dust particles. Imagine you have a window there and a dark room. If a beam of light is coming, you see some small dust particles floating. So you recognize a beam of light by the dust particle it eliminates. You can't see light as such. But light enables us to see. For example, if light falls on this body and that reflected light enters my eye, what bounces back is reflections. So when that reflected light comes, I see that object is there. So whenever we are able to see this, imagine the whole world was dark. Sun was not there. I don't think uh, life wouldn't have been there if sun were not there. 
But even if sun were there, and if what we call as the visible light were not there, we couldn't have seen each other. So, light enables us to see, light enables us to see, but light by itself is not visible. Whenever light falls on an object, part of it is bounced back, we call it as what? Reflection. If the surface is very smooth, a parallel beam comes back as a parallel beam. If the surface is rough, hazy, irregular reflection, and light goes in all directions, then also we can see the surface, but it appears differently from different directions. Light not only gets bounced back, but it also is partly absorbed. And some light is also transmitted by some body. So whenever light falls on a body, there is reflection, there is refraction, there is absorption, and also transmission, whatever. Refraction is ultimately going to be transmission. And whenever it hits a solid body, it's easy to see that, all these things. But whenever there is a gas or something like that, are air molecules also doing something or not doing anything when light falls? There is air all around, but we are not able to see air molecules. They are very small in size, but they are also bouncing back this light in all directions. So this phenomenon of bouncing back light in various directions or in all directions or randomly is called scattering. So scattering is nothing but some kind of reflection. Am I right? So let us now understand a little deeper into what we call as scattering of light. There is a scientist by name Raleigh. We call that, uh, his description we call as Raleigh scattering. What he did was, he said that whenever light falls from the sun on this air molecule, also to some extent on the dust particles and so on, it's sent in all directions. Light is considered a wave to understand this. You saw the wave, Dr. Murthy was showing, you know, the pattern of a wave and all that. The total length of a crest and a trough we call as the wavelength. Right? Blue has the shortest wavelength, or violet has the shortest wavelength, red has the longest wavelength. The scattering is highest where the wavelength is least. Which has least wavelength? Blue has the least wavelength, right? Whereas all other colors have higher wavelengths, so they all go in their different directions. Blue reaches the earth directly. So we see the space above with what color? No, in the atmosphere, on the earth. If you look up, what color do you see? Blue. So the blue color of the sky is because air molecules and dust particles are there. That scattering is, is sky something like is this pen or paper or a sheet of box? Do you think sky exists? No, there's nothing like sky which is a physical reality. From the earth, we look up, we see blue color because of this scattering. But if we go up above the atmosphere, what's the color of the sky? It should be black because there is nothing to scatter, am I right? It looks like a black screen and a very powerful light. Sun would look like a very powerful light. So we have understood now what job uh, light does. Light makes us show objects. Because there is no diffuse scattering, nothing is happening, everything looks black. We have made a number of kinds of la lights now, lamp, the matchbox, olden days, or the candle. Today, the latest is mostly LEDs, the light emitting diodes. Every uh, light the source that we use is an LED lamp because it is highly efficient. And we have also light with different qualities. The ordinary light from bulbs is different from what we call as lasers. You have all seen toy laser uh, uh, torches and so on. So this is a very special kind of light, but also like the regular light. And 
These are all the sources of light. But whenever light falling on an object is reflected and that enters the eye, we are able to see, we say, that is typically called the visible light. It's called the visible region. That is some 400 nanometer to 800 nanometer produces the sensation of sight. But there is also wavelengths beyond that and below that. That means beyond violet you have ultraviolet, beyond red there is infrared, so radio waves, x-rays, gamma rays, all these form what is called as electromagnetic radiation. Why to call it electromagnetic radiation? It may be a little difficult for you to understand, but what I can tell you is electromagnetic, it is called electromagnetic radiation because wherever there is light, there is a vibrating or oscillating electric field and also a oscillating magnetic field. Oscillating means its magnitude keeps on changing. There's an electric field which is fluctuating. There's a magnetic field which is fluctuating at right angles and light energy flows perpendicular to this. X-rays, radio waves, visible light, infrared. Infrared is nothing but heat waves. All these forms what we call as the electromagnetic radiation and it extends from gamma rays at one end to radio waves at other, other end. You, you get your television, you get your radio, everything because of electromagnetic radiation. You have all seen this picture often. When you allow light to fall on a prism, what happens? The different colors separate out. You call that band of organized or a structured band of colors or a ordered sequence of colors a spectrum and the device that produces is a prism. Have you not seen this kind of a thing when there are small droplets of water on which sunlight falls? So spectrum, you, you, you don't have to wait and understand only in a laboratory with a prism. In nature, man has not made anything that is not part of nature. We are still trying to understand bits and bits and smaller pieces of nature. Therefore, if you have the curiosity, you will see all this in nature itself. We have all seen rainbows, am I right? At any point, when there is rain and also sun, you see that. In what direction do you see that? In the direction of the sun or opposite to the direction of the sun? If there is a rainbow in the morning hour, which side do you see? If sun is on this side, you will see the rainbow on the opposite side. So these are all examples of dispersion. Ultimately, you can create the same thing in the laboratory, but nature is the best laboratory, and therefore, you want to become a great scientist, the first thing that you should all develop is apart from curiosity, what? Great observation, right? Whatever you see, hey, why is like this? What is this? I want to know. If you are driven by that curiosity and keen sense of observation, that is the first requirement for you to be a scientist. How many of you really want to pursue science later in life? How many of you? Only a few people. Rest all want to become software engineers, doctors. Anyway, science is essential for everybody. Be it a doctor, be it an engineer, or be it a painter, you need to understand the sense of color. What colors mix for what color, and to get what color, and so on. This I said already, light is reflected, refracted, and so on, scattered. Let us look at a little more in detail about scattering. I told you, whenever you have molecule, when light falls on that, it goes in all directions. It goes in all directions. We will talk of only light in the visible region, 400 to 800 nanometer. That's what our eye can see. But same phenomena happens for X-rays, radio waves, every form of light experiences all this phenomenon. But let us restrict it to visible light. 
Imagine you have a beam of light here, and you have some medium which can scatter a gas or uh, a crystal or anything. Then what happens is part of it goes in the original direction. Am I right? That is the transmitted light. Part of it goes back. What is that? Reflected light. Part of it gets scattered inside, gets absorbed. Am I right? But some light does not get absorbed, comes out. Am I right? So if you have some amount of light falling on a body, you know how much is really scattered and observable? If this is the direction in which light is traveling, if I observe at right angles, hardly a millionth of it comes out. A million. That means if there are one million photons going, your light also is considered as a particle called the photon. If one million photons are going in this direction, hardly one photon may come in this direction. In other words, it's a very small percentage of uh, light that comes exactly at right angles. Let us look at how it is important. I'll give you a real life example, like how, how things happen when light passes through or what happens to scattered light. We are in Mysore, right? We have this Dasra festival, the day that uh, Jambu Savari and whatever great things happen. You have huge crowds. In many places, do you find extremely disciplined people walking without hurting each other straight? Do they go in straight lines? All people are going in all directions. Some run, some fall down. Some go mad, hit somebody, drop them. All sorts of things will be happening. These molecules also do the same thing. No molecule is ever at rest. Can a molecule be standing at one place like a soldier? No, they are all running helter-skelter. When light goes, it hits these molecules. Whenever light hits these molecules, two, three things can happen. Let's see. When this kind of a crowd is there on the day of that Dasra festival, somebody is running. What can happen is his bag may be lost. His handbag is lost. Why? This fellow is running. Somebody is running in the opposite direction. It simply pushes and that bag is lost. So somebody's bag is lost, somebody's purse is lost, and somebody gets that bag, purse, etc. That means some gain and some lose. Am I right? So also when this photon, photon of light hits a molecule, the molecule may give away a little energy to the photon, or it may take a little of energy. How does it happen? Let us see. We'll talk of another real life example. We are all normally very calm and cool. Am I right? We are all calm and cool. But one day, I get angry. Somebody teased me, somebody hurt me, somebody shouted at me. I get excited. Can I remain that angry state for long? No. I have to somehow cool down. Maybe catch hold of somebody, shout, scream, whatever it is, I'll come back to normalcy. In other words, these molecules always keep the lowest energy normally. That is called the ground state. But if you give a little energy to that molecule, it goes to a higher energy state called the excited state. These molecules cannot remain in the higher energy state or excited state for long. Within a short time, less than a millionth of a second, it comes back to the ground state. None of us want to remain angry for long, so also this molecule comes down. When it comes down, it, it emits radiation, it emits energy. That photon may have a certain, will have a certain amount of energy. This photon which is, hits a ground stage molecule will actually lose a little energy to that molecule and therefore the photon comes with less energy. If it comes with less energy, its wavelength will be more. On the contrary, there may be an excited molecule. When this photon goes and hits it, it may gain the energy from the molecule. Therefore, the energy becomes more, the wavelength becomes less. 
So there are three kinds of situations for this light now. A bunch of photons traveling through molecules whose energy is neither increased nor decreased. Am I right? Because they don't gain or lose energy in the collision. But some molecules, what can happen? Gain energy. Am I right? If they gain energy, they come with shorter wavelength. Some molecules may lose. Therefore, they come with higher wavelength. So three possibilities are there. This was theoretically worked out by a person called Smackel in 1923. In 1923, a scientist by name Smackel had predicted it. But in 1928, C.V. Raman did an experiment and got this result. See, the idea is not great. It's easy for all of us to understand. A photon can hit a molecule, go unchanged without any change of energy. It does not pick or lose. Another photon can go, gain a little energy and go away. Another photon may lose energy and go away. These are three possibilities. But C.V. Raman did an experiment to do, find out this. You know, those days, light sources were not very strong like today. We have laser beams which are very, very powerful. Photography was not great at that time. Today we have cameras where you can splash a, flash a picture in a millisecond, am I right? Very short click, that will do. The films are very, very sensitive today. Those days it was not there. You know what Raman had to do? He had a, he was using sunlight, use a lens and focus that light. Later he realized this will not work. He put what is called as a mercury arc. Fill the vapors of mercury in a tube, pass an electric discharge, and then you produce light. That would be a lot more powerful than sunlight. So he used a mercury arc. And this was passed through initially benzene and several other substances and kept a film, a photographic film. You know how long he had to wait to get some picture of this light has scattered, collects scattered light on the film. Guess, 40 hours. Today, within a millionth of a second, you can click something, right? Or a millisecond, you can get a picture. 40 hours, long exposure was needed. And that too, to get a very, very feeble impression. Only sensitive eyes could see that. So that was the difficulty. Raman effect looks very simple, right? What is that great thing? Some gain energy, some lose energy. But to detect it was so difficult. And the greatness of Raman lies in detecting that. And so these are the things I, I described to you. And now, see, that's, that's C.V. Raman. That's the experimental setup to do Raman studies. And these are all the people for whom, scientists from whom, for whom, Raman was showing his discovery. This was done in the year 1928. I propose this evening to speak to you on a new kind of radiation or light emission from atoms and molecules. This is what he said in Bangalore. And we celebrate this from 1986 as the science day. So we have understood what is this. So. Roman's scattering gives three lines. One, whose wavelength is not altered. The other, whose wavelengths are higher. And the third one, whose wavelengths are lower. So they are called the anti-Stokes and Stokes lines and anti-Stokes lines. And one set of lines have greater intensity than the other set because more atoms normally are in the ground state than in the excited state. The applications of Raman effect are innumerable. In fact, I had the good fortune of listening to C.V. Raman at least on three occasions. He gave us a talk when we were students doing our master's degree. He, 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 we, we were so lucky to do that. And we also visited the Raman Institute where he had kept a variety of minerals to show how Minerals can be identified by the reflection of light. 
So he was a very, very interesting person. He discovered this. And later, there was a sixth international Raman conference in Bangalore, where Raman was supposed to inaugurate, and he organizers went and invited him. Raman said, when I discovered this phenomenon, I never knew it would have so many applications. I never knew it could have so many applications. And by the time lasers were discovered, laser, as, you to, as I told you, is a special kind of light which can give very high intensity without spreading. That's the property of that light. With that, they were able to identify what happens in life systems, the, life, the living molecules. Supposing you take biological molecules, they keep on changing their form. They become new molecules, they degenerate. So many changes keep happening. That happens in a very, very short time of the order of a millionth of a second and less than that. We call them as phase transitions, go from one state to another state. With our conventional light and 40 hours of exposure, what do you study? You can't get any information, am I right? But with laser, it was possible to do study such things. And Roman, on being invited to that sixth Roman conference, I was actually a student who had started my research those days. And he said, I don't come to that conference because I may not understand most of what you fellows talk. This is what he said. A Nobel laureate says, I may not understand most of what you speak because so much change has happened in this last uh, maybe uh, 30 to 60. About 30, 35 years later, so much change had happened and he said it's difficult. So the nature of science is such that we should not think everything is already discovered and all these fellows have discovered so much and it's a big headache for us to remember Newton's laws, to remember Boyle's law, to remember Charles' law. All this is occurs. I have a photograph. I don't know how to project it. It's in my mobile. These are the people who are responsible for my failures in schools and colleges and so on. They're all Einstein for me and all that. Because we failed in our classes because we had to remember what they did. But that is not the thing today. But these are the beacons of light. They are the ones who have shown our path. Therefore, the number of applications today, I have just put a list. I, I can't elaborate all of them, not even one or two of them. But today, Raman effect is one of the most powerful tools to understand molecular structure. Every molecule has a certain shape, am I right? It is made up of, morning you have heard, molecules with hundreds of thousands of atoms, the, the proteins and so on. You know, between two atoms, there is something called a bond, and they vibrate, they, os they rotate, all sorts of motions will be there. Most of vibrations of molecules are understood in terms of Raman effect. Therefore, my dear young friends, you have a great opportunity to be a scientist. Why I'm telling great opportunity is, Raman was any, like any one of you, any one of us. But what made him a great scientist is his curious mind and ask, not only asking questions, but observing and trying to experiment and find out much more than what was known at that time as science. Therefore, today we have more opportunities than what Raman had. Those days, I told you, even a lamp was difficult. The film said to be exposed for 40 hours. But today, you can do science with internet. Data is available. Whatever somebody is done, doing in Stanford to MIT to Oxford to any other place, you can get in a split second here. Therefore, you have wonderful opportunities. You have technology. I think the best opportunity for all of you is to look at science as a career. You can do engineering, you can do medicine, but even sub subjects like medicine or engineering are all full of basic sciences. Without your understanding of electrostatic forces, nuclear forces, the Van der Waals forces, you can't understand any higher chemistry. People are talking of things like what is consciousness, what is life, 
a molecule in a petri dish behaves very differently from the same molecule uh, compared to a molecule in a living system. How is that? Then what is life? Is it some quantum mechanical state or is it something else? So people are trying to dig so deep that it is something like the best time for people to do science. I think you are luckily in that part of the journey in the uh, sort of discovery or the growth of technology that no time could be better than this time for people to pursue science. I wish all of you a great future, but because I am a science teacher or a researcher, I am not saying do science. That's the most exciting thing. And probably nothing is more important than finding out truth. So ultimately, science is the pursuit of truth. What is what? And you know, it always gives you that joy of discovering something. You should not uh, uh, sort of, you know, learn by rote memory, even Newton's laws, that, this, and all that. You should be able to experiment and learn by yourself. Incidentally, at the end, I would like to conclude by saying I am, uh, after 56 years of uh, teaching career, engaged in helping children of your age, like six, seven, your scientist, Dr. Uma, and a couple of uh, people, scientists from C CFTRI, are also associated with an organization called Prayoga, which I am associated with. And there, children learn science completely by doing. You are not told this is Newton's law, that is this law, that is this law, that law, and all that. You will discover by yourself. And last year, four of our school students, high school students, ninth and 10th graders, have published research papers, just like postgraduates or, uh, say, graduates, uh, doing original work, published research papers in international journals. So. At, a, at 14, 15, if you publish a research paper in a peer-reviewed international journal, I think you will be sort of wedded to doing science all through your life. Such opportunities exist for you people. You can always talk to your teachers. They will tell you how to move further. Wish you all a great future. And the future lies in your passion. And that passion, if it can be for science, I think that's the best thing that can happen to you and to the society because society, science only can save the society for the planet to be there for a longer time for the population. I thank the CFTRI people for giving me this opportunity and thanks, thanks all of you who have been sitting here after a long day, right from probably 9 o'clock you must have started, uh, left home a little earlier, got up a little earlier too. I, I appreciate your patience. Thanks everybody and wish you all a great future. Thank you. You know, children, today he was so considerate about you, telling that you got up a bit early, worked very hard in the day, and you know, like, uh, you have been sitting very patiently to the talk. But you know, he's come all the way from Bangalore for this. Okay? Let's give him a big hand. <laughs> you know, even today, he's more enthusiastic than all of us combined, actually. And you know, like, thank you very much, sir, for this enlightening talk. And you know, like, uh, he's always inspired us with his speech. And I hope all of you enjoyed it. In a few minutes, we'll start the concluding program. So please don't talk among yourself. Please relax. We'll just start. Thank you. <coughs> we'll sit. We'll again re assemble ourselves.
Hello, Chip. Hello. CSIR Kendriya Ahara Samshodana Laya Mysuru Matu Sarvajanika Shikshana Ilake Karnataka Sarkara Yivara Sahayogadali Rastriya Vignana Dina Matadara Angavagi Nadasida Siridhanya Jijnasa Karikramada Samaropa Samarambake Agamisirva Ganirena Tamajora the Chapalayundige Yiga Vedikige Afanisona E. Sundara Karikramake Mukya Atikalagi Agamisriva, Sri Ramachandra Raja Aras, Upanir Deshakaru, Sarvajanika Shikshana Ilake, Mysuru Samarambake Gaurava Atikalagi Agamisriva, Doctor H. S. Nagraju Seruru, Prayoga Shikshana Samshodana Samste, Bengaluru Hage E. Karikramada Adjectava Siriva, Doctor Sri Devi Anapurna Singh, Nirdeshakaru, CSIR, CFTRI, Mysuru Ye yella atiti mohodeeru, vedi ke mele bandu, asin ragabekagi, vinam rakorike. Yellariguna muscara Hagu Rastria Vignana Dinada, Hardika, Shubhasheguru. Melarigu Tilidru Hage, February Ipatentane Tarikanu, Rastria Vigna Dinavanagi, Baharata Dadienta, Acher Salago today. Janasa Manerelli, Vigna de Bagage, Jagati Murisudu, Rastria Vigna Nadinada, Acher Neudesha, Baharatia Vignani, Sir Chandra Shekara, Venta Raman Ravara, Ravaru, Saurda Yentura Yambatentera, November Elarandu, Temilunadina, Tiruchana Pali Eligenisidru. Ivaru, Belakina, Chedruke, Baganadisida, Sam Shodenegagi, Saur the Ombai Nura Motarelli, Yeshiada, Modala, Nobel, Bota Vignana, Prashastige, Bajanaradru, Ivara, Y Sam Shodene, Raman effect in the Katipadeto, either a seven in Pigagi, February Ipatentane Tarikanu, Rastria, Vignana Dinavanagi, Bahala Aduri in the Acher Salago today. Jagatika Yoga Kshemakagi, Jagatika Vignana, Yambashi Shikedi, Yerat Saurda Ipat Murane Vashavano, Anta Rashriya, Siridhanya Lavasha, Yendu, Acharisalaguti De, Y Hinaleli, Siridhanya, Hechu, Visheshetena, Padukundide, Ida Saluagi, CSIR, CFTRA, Makaligagi, Halawa Rukar Kramagalana, Ayo de Sirudu, Gamanarha, Yiga, Y Sundara Karikramake Agam Sirva, Ganirana, Swagati Swasamaya. Modelne Dagi, E. Sundara Karikramake, Mukia Atitigalagi Agam Silva, Sri Ramachandra Raja Aras Upanir Deshakuru, Sarvijan Kashikshana Ilake, Mysuru, Ivarige, Karikramake, Nama Nimela Pravagi, Ruthpur Kuadantaha, Swagatavana, Corona, Sri Uterige, Samstaya Nirdeshakaradantaha, Doctor Sri Devi Anapurna Singh, Madam Ruru, Hugu Chavana, Nirudra Mulaka, Swagat Sabekagi, Korike. Hage, Y Kari Kramake, Gaurava, Atitigalagi Agam Sirva, Prayoga, Shikshana, Samshodanalaya, Mukesarada, Doctor Hechen, Nagraju Serever Gukuda, Namani Miller Pervagi, Ruthpur Kuadanta, the Nevadagulu, Avarigu Kuda, Samste and Nirdeshakaradantaha, Shri Devi, Anapurna, Madam Ruru, Huguchanidu, the Mulaka, Swag Sebekagi, Korike Hage, Y Samarambake, Adjecta in Avaisir Takantaha, CSIR, CFT Araina. Some stay a hemi and irdeshakaradantaha, Doctor Shri Devi, Anapurna Singh, Madam Rogukuda, Namani Mela Parvagi, Ruthpur Guadantaha, Swagata, 
ಅವರಿಗೆ ಬಯೋಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಉಮಾ ಮ್ಯಾಡಮ್ ರವರು ಹೂಗುಚ್ಛ ನೀಡುವುದರ ಮೂಲಕ ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸಬೇಕಾಗಿ ಸವಿನಯ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕವು ವಿಪುಲವಾದ ಭೌಗೋಳಿಕ ಸಂಪತ್ತು ಐತಿಹಾಸಿಕ ಪರಂಪರೆ ಕಲೆ ವಾಸ್ತುಶಿಲ್ಪ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಸಂಗೀತ ಮತ್ತು ನೃತ್ಯ ಕಲೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಪಡೆದಿದೆ ಜಾತ್ಯತೀತ ಆದರ್ಶ ವಿಶಾಲ ಮನೋಭಾವ ಪರೋಪಕಾರ ಆಚಾರ ವಿಚಾರ ಮೊದಲಾದವುಗಳಿಗೆ ಹೆಸರಾದವರು ಕನ್ನಡಿಗರು ಕನ್ನಡಿಗರ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಮಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಖ್ಯಾತಿ ಪಡೆದಿದೆ ಈ ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ರಚಿತವಾದದ್ದು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಕವಿ ಕುವೆಂಪುರವರ ನಾಡಗೀತೆ ಈಗ ಕುವೆಂಪು ವಿರಚಿತ ನಾಡಗೀತೆ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತಪಡಿಸಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸಿಎಫ್ಟಿಆರ್ಐ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿನಿಯರು ಅವರೊಡಗೂಡಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಎದ್ದು ನಿಂತು ಗೌರವಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ಧ್ವನಿಗೂಡಿಸಬೇಕಾಗಿ ಸವಿನಯ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮಾತೆ ಜಯ ಸುಂದರ ನದಿ ವನಗಳ ನಾಡೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ರಸ ಋಷಿಗಳ ಬೀಡೆ ಜಯ ಭಾರತ ಜನನಿಯ ತನು ಜಾತೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮಾತೆ ಭೂದೇವಿಯ ಮಕುಟದ ನವಮಣಿಯೇ ಗಂಧದ ಚಂದದ ಹೊನ್ನಿನ ಗಣಿಯೇ ರಾಘವ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ರವತರಿಸಿದ ಭಾರತ ಜನನಿಯ ತನು ಜಾತೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮಾತೆ ಜನನಿಯ ಜೋಗುಳ ವೇದದ ಘೋಷ ಜನನಿಗೆ ಜೀವವು ನಿನ್ನ ವೇಷ ಹಸುರಿನ ಗಿರಿಗಳ ಸಾಲೆ ನಿನ್ನಯ ಕೊರಳಿನ ಮಾಲೆ ಕಪಿಲ ಪತಂಜಲ ಗೌತಮ ಜಿನನುತ ಭಾರತ ಜನನಿಯ ತನು ಜಾತೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮಾತೆ ಸರ್ವ ಜನಾಂಗದ ಶಾಂತಿಯ ತೋಟ ರಸಿಕರ ಕಂಗಳ ಸೆಳೆಯುವ ನೋಟ ಹಿಂದೂ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ತ ಮುಸಲ್ಮಾನ ಪಾರಸಿಕ ಜೈನ ಋದ್ಯಾನ ಜನಕನ ಹೋಲುವ ದೊರೆಗಳ ಧಾಮ ಗಾಯಕ ವೈನಿಕರ ರಾಮ ಕನ್ನಡ ನುಡಿ ಕುಣಿದಾಡುವ ಗೇಹ ಕನ್ನಡ ತಾಯಿಯ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ದೇಹ ಜೈ ಭಾರತ ಜನನಿಯ ತನು ಜಾತೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮಾತೆ ಜಯ ಸುಂದರ ನದಿ ವನಗಳ ನಾಡೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ರಸ ಋಷಿಗಳ ಬೀಡೆ ಜಯ ಭಾರತ ಜನನಿಯ ತನು ಜಾತೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮಾತೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮಾತೆ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮಾತೆ ಸುಶ್ರಾವ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಹಾಡಿದ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾದಂತಹ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಈಗ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳ ಮೇಲಿನ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸಾ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಉದ್ದೇಶಿಸಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಯೋಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆದಂತಹ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಉಮಾ ಮಂಜಪ್ಪರವರು ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ವಸಂತ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅವರೇ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಸಭಾಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರೇ ಗಣ್ಯರೇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರೇ ಹಾಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಚ್ಚಿನ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಈ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸಾ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಆಧಾರದ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹನ್ನೆರಡನೇ ಇಸ್ವಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಎಂಬ ಯೋಜನೆಯ ಮೂಲಕ ನಾವು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಗ್ರಾಮಾಂತರ ಪ್ರಾಂತ್ಯದ ಪ್ರೌಢಶಾಲಾ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳನ್ನು ಏಪ್ರಿಲ್ ತಿಂಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಹದಿನೈದು ದಿವಸಗಳ ಕಾಲ ಬರಿಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಿದ್ದೆವು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆಯುವ ಆಹಾರ ಸಂಶೋಧನೆ ಹಾಗೂ ವಿಶ್ಲೇಷಣಾ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳ ಪರಿಚಯ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡುತ್ತಿದ್ದೆವು ತದನಂತರ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟನೇ ಇಸ್ವಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಾದ ನವದೆಹಲಿಯಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯು ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸಾ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಕೇಂದ್ರೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಸಂಘಟನೆಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ಆರಂಭಿಸಿತು ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳ ಗುರಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ವೈಜ್ಞಾನಿಕ ಚಿಂತನೆ ಮತ್ತು ತರ್ಕಬದ್ಧ ವಿಚಾರಣೆ ಮೂಡಿಸುವುದಾಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತ್ ಮೂರು ಇಸ್ವಿಯನ್ನು ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯ ವರ್ಷ ಎಂದು ಘೋಷಿಸಲಾಗಿದ್ದು ನಮ್ಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಬಳಕೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಲು ಉತ್ತೇಜನ ನೀಡಲು ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಟಿ
ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರಾದ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀದೇವಿ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯ ಡಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಯರಾದ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ರಾಜೇ ಅರಸ್ ಅವರ ಸಹಕಾರದಿಂದ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವು ಇಂದು ಸುಸಾಂಗವಾಗಿ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಿಂದ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಹಲವು ಆಹಾರ ಸಂಸ್ಕರಣೆ ಯಂತ್ರಗಳ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸುವ ರೀತಿಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಪಡೆದಿದ್ದು ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಿತ್ಯ ಆಹಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಮಾಡಿ ಆರೋಗ್ಯವಂತರಾಗುವರು ಎಂದು ಆಶಿಸುತ್ತಾ ನನ್ನ ಈ ಮಾತುಗಳನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸಾ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ಕುರಿತಂತೆ ತುಂಬ ಸುಲಲಿತವಾಗಿ ಮತ್ತು ಸರಳವಾಗಿ ಅದ್ಭುತವಾಗಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದಂತಹ ಉಮಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ರವರಿಗೆ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾದಂಥ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಗಾತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಿರಿದು ಪೋಷಣೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿರಿದು ಇದು ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳ ಮಹತ್ವವನ್ನು ಒಂದೇ ಮಾತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳುವ ನುಡಿಗಟ್ಟು ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುವ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳು ಒಣಭೂಮಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಮಳೆ ಮೊದಲಾದ ಸಮತೆಗಳಿರುವ ಕೃಷಿ ಭೂಮಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಮಾಡಿಸಿದಂತಿವೆ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಗೋಧಿಗಳಿಗಿಂತ ಕಡಿಮೆ ನೀರು ಕುಡಿದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶ ನೀಡುವ ಈ ಧಾನ್ಯಗಳು ಬಡವರ ಆಹಾರವೆಂದೇ ಖ್ಯಾತಿ ಆದರೆ ಈಗ ಈ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಬೆಳೆಯುವವರ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯು ಕಡಿಮೆಯಾಗಿರುವುದರಿಂದ ಅವು ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಗೋಧಿಗಳಿಗಿಂತ ದುಬಾರಿಯಾಗಿರುವುದು ವಿಪರ್ಯಾಸ ಸರ್ಕಾರವೇ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳ ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಗೆ ಹಲವು ಯೋಜನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಹಮ್ಮಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದು ಕೃಷಿಕರು ಕಿರುಧಾನ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಬೆಳೆಯುವಂತೆ ಪ್ರೇರೇಪಿಸುತ್ತಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲದೆ ಗ್ರಾಹಕರು ಖರೀದಿಸುವಂತೆ ಹಲವಾರು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳನ್ನು ಹಮ್ಮಿಕೊಂಡು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ತಕ್ಕ ಹಾಗೆ ಸೌಲಭ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಒದಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಮರಣೀಯ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹಿಸತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತ್ಮೂರನೇ ಇಸವಿಯನ್ನು ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳ ವರ್ಷ ಎಂದು ಘೋಷಿಸಿದೆ ಈ ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಧಾನ್ಯಗಳ ಮಹತ್ವ ಕುರಿತಂತೆ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ಆವಿಷ್ಕರಿಸಿರುವ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯಚಿತ್ರದ ಒಂದು ಕಿರು ಅವಲೋಕನ ಈಗ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಣ್ಮುಂದೆ पोषक आहार की पूरी दुनिया में डिमांड है आजकल जब हम ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग पोर्टल पे जाते हैं तो अक्सर हैरान हो जाते हैं जिस अनाज को कोई फ्री में लेने के लिए भी तैयार नहीं होता था वो सैकड़ों रुपए किलो के हिसाब से आज दुनिया के लोग टूट रहे हैं are small seeded cereals and are an integral part of the Indian diet for centuries. It has been a source of income for marginal farmers of arid, semi-arid areas. They play a vital role in ecological and economic security of India. Due to its nutritional, nutraceutical and health-promoting properties, today millets have earned the reputation of being the superfood for management of lifestyle related diseases they are good sources of minerals dietary fiber contains essential amino acids and are gluten free they are also rich in nutraceuticals like phenolics flavonoids tocopherols phytosterols carotenoids etc millets have lower glycemic index or gi Its hyperlipidemic and blood pressure lowering effect makes it cardioprotective and it also helps in weight reduction. 
millet diversity includes major millets like sorghum, pearl millet and finger millet as well as small millets like barnyard, little millets, kodo, foxtail, proso and brown top. Other millets like job steers, teff and fonio are also gaining popularity. India is one of the leading producers and suppliers of millet. The main millet growing states in India are Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. States like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Uttarakhand are also producing millets. With the aim to create awareness and increase production and consumption of millets, United Nations at the behest of the Government of India declared 2023 the International Year Millets. To commemorate this, MyGov is hosting various interactive activities around millets. It is being celebrated to make it people's movement so that the Indian millets, recipes, value-added products are accepted globally. CSIR is an autonomous body under the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. Since its inception in 1942, CSIR has played a major role in nation building through scientific and technological innovations, research and skill development. The Honorable Prime Minister is the President of the Governing Body of CSIR and the Honorable Minister of Science and Technology is the Vice President. CSIR has a dedicated lab, CSIR Central Food Technological Research Institute at Mysuru, which has done pioneering work on millets with the initiative of founder director way back in 1950. And subsequently, number of innovations happened in basic research, processing, product, technology and machinery development. This has resulted in around 150 publications, 20 PhDs, 40 technologies which were transferred to more than 75 entrepreneurs, mainly in the MSME sector. The institute has also provided skill development to around 1500 self-help groups, farmers, rural women and startups to popularize millet-based foods. Value addition of millets including primary and secondary processing. Primary processing is generally carried out on the millets at producer's level, which improves millet quality, transforms the grain into more useful form. It includes cleaning, dehulling, sorting, polishing, pearling, grading, size reduction, grinding, drying and storage. Under secondary processing, Unit operations are carried out on millets, either directly or after primary processing, to transform them into products, generally for direct consumption. They are done usually away from farm, either in unorganized or in organized sectors. They include milling, puffing, flaking, baking, and value-added products of millets. Machineries developed are destoner, pedal-operated dehala, tiny millet mill, ragi mud, millet-based processed products made by scientific innovations are convenient and shelf-stable flours, breakfast products like roti, mixes of idli, upma, puffed and popped products, novel products like millet flakes, noodles vermicelli, ragi rice, beverage mixes like weaning and malted food, snack products like millet bar, papar, muruku, halwa and burfi mix and bakery products like bread, biscuits and cookies. Translation of scientific innovations for societal benefits are carried out through supporting the government schemes in community nutrition, training programs to women self-help groups, MSMEs, etc. Our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, 
has been emphasizing on the need for developing scaled technologies through the supply chain for millets on a global platform. And CSIR would be on the right medium for implementing these along with partners like ICAR, ICMR, FSSAI and other agencies to make India the global leader in millets. Our Honorable Minister of Science and Technology and Vice President, Dr. Jitendra Singh, has also directed our mission on serving the practical needs of the nation. CSIR, through its network of labs, can help through innovations in science and technology to address the gaps and challenges existing in positioning millets and millet-based products on a global platform, thereby ensuring better income, especially to small and marginalized farmers and increase exports. To achieve this, there are gaps and challenges that need to be addressed. Millets are available in large scale, but are region specific. There is a lack of dedicated machinery for millet processing. The grains have an enzyme, lipase, that affects the stability adversely and reduces the shelf life of the millet foods. Poor awareness among people of the nutritive value of these ancient grains. Lack of availability of convenience and tasty millet products in the market. Packaging and branding for domestic and global market. Other aspects like testing and analysis of nutrients, nutraceuticals, scientific validation of health benefits, clinical studies, toxicological safety also can be researched by CSIR through its network of laboratories. CSIR, under the leadership of Dr. Kelai Selvi, DG CSIR and Secretary DSIR, is also initiating a Millets Mission program on various themes with participation of more than 10 laboratories to provide holistic solutions to the challenge of making India a major supplier and exporter of millet-based technologies. Siridane Galinda Yenella Prayujana Videyam Budana Avish Karisita Kantaha CFT RI CSIRNA Y Karya Vikari Jora the Chapalayundige Slagisutta Yiga E Kare Kramake Gaurava Atitikalagi Agam Sita Kantaha Doctor H. S. Nagra Josaravra Vekti Parishava Namadi Kodalidare Molecular Nutrition Vibhagada Senior Scientist Doctor Purnima Priyadarshini Madam Ruru. Namaskara Ashriuta Ramachandra Raja Aras Ravaru Basava Raja Aras Hagu Nilamani Dampatigala Suputra Ragi Mysuru Jille Piria Patana Taloku Barasayali Shriuta HSN HS Nagaraj Ravaru HSN Yende Katarada, Bautu Shastra Pradya Pakarada Shri Utaru, Nadu Kanda, Atyuttama, Sikshana Tagnaru, Adarsha Sikshakaru, Agu Udara Manasunulinavaru Agidare, Shri Utaru Igagale, Halo Sikshana Samstegalanu Samstapisi, Augalanu Uttama Vagi Nirvahane Madutidare, Nalkunuru Sibandi Vargadondi Kudida, Kuyambudu, Avara Mahadashe Agide, E Nitina Leavaru, Prayoga Yemba, Prayo Gika, Sikshana Samste and Nustapisi, Prouda Shala with their Tigalige, Patia Pushtaka the Lirva Vishagalanu, Sarala Prayoga the Mulaka, Arthamagu and Tetilisukutidare. Ivaru, Bautha Shastra Matu Electronic Vishagala Kuritu, Ipatu Pustaka Galanu Prakatane Madi, Savira with their Tigalige, Gnana Dharea Mulaka, Margadarshane and Nunidu Tidare. Idalade. Shri Utaru, Bengalurina Lirva, Shri Shankara, Cancer Samste and Nu Arambisidu, Adara Nirvahane Ali, Sakriya Vagi, Todegisikondirutare, 
ತಪಸ್ ಎಂಬ ಪ್ರಯೋಗಾಲಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂದುಳಿದ ವರ್ಗದ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಜೆ ಇ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗೆ ಉಚಿತ ತರಬೇತಿಯನ್ನು ನೀಡುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಂತಹ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ತಜ್ಞರು ಇಂದು ನಮ್ಮೊಂದಿಗಿರುವುದು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯವಾಗಿದೆ ಸುಸ್ವಾಗತ ಸವಿಸ್ತಾರವಾಗಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ರವರ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಪರಿಚಯವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟಂತಹ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ರವರಿಗೆ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾದಂತಹ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಈಗ ಈ ಸಮಾರಂಭದ ಗೌರವ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳು ಹಾಗೆ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಶೋಧನಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳು ಆದಂತಹ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ನಾಗರಾಜು ಸರ್ ಅವರು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಉದ್ದೇಶಿಸಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿ ಕೋರಿಕೆ ವೇದಿಕೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೆ ಇಡೀ ಜೀವನ ಯಾರ ಸಹವಾಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಳ್ತಿದ್ದೀನೋ ಅಂಥ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಮಿತ್ರರೇ ಅಧ್ಯಾಪಕ ಮಿತ್ರರೇ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಈ ದಿನದ ಸಾಂದರ್ಭಿಕವಾಗಿ ಮಾತಾಡಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ರಾಮನ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ನಲವತ್ತೈದು ನಿಮಿಷ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ತಡವಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡಲ್ಲ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಕರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಯಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಬೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಫಾರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಲೈಂಬ್ಡ್ ಎವರೆಸ್ಟ್ for the first time along with uh, Edmund Hillary. He was like any one of us. If you have seen the picture of Tenzing, he is not at all well-built, tough guy. He is a typical Sherpa who, who doesn't look like a fit person even. Utter poverty, nobody knew anything about him. He has, his only dream in life was to climb Everest. He lived in the foothills. Morning, evening, night, his thoughts were focused on this. He made several attempts and he did not succeed. But all his friends would say, if you can't climb this, nobody else can do this. You are capable. Like that, in your lives also, you should all believe that you are capable of something and your people, your teachers have also been telling this. I'm only one step further, you will understand what it means. You're all more capable than what you think. One day he was highly frustrated. He thought he can never climb Everest in his lifetime. Never. A friend had come. He was sipping a cup of coffee with him or tea. In the book it says tea. He had a cup of tea with his friend. His friend said, why are you looking, asked him, why are you looking so dull? So pain, what happened to you? Then that fellow says, I say I have lost my life. There is no meaning to this life. I can never climb Everest. But his friend said, if you can't climb, nobody can climb. Why are you behaving like this? As they were talking, Tenzing went into a melancholic mood and completely withdrew. He closed his eyes. He was sitting in a chair. He was not talking, not responding to his friend. His friend came and started sh shaking him. Hey, what happened? What happened? Why are you like this? Get up. You called me to talk and uh, you have been so, so silent. He didn't even respond for two, three minutes. Suddenly he jumped out of his chair and said, yes, I know I can climb. He said to me, he didn't even talk. With no response. Suddenly, how did you discover? You say you can do that. He said one thing. I realize now. First time I climbed some 10,000 feet. That's all. Next time I could climb some 12,000 feet. Next time I raised it. I, keep on, I went on improving my heights. Himalayan height cannot rise. But I can keep on improving my Uh, steps, uh, height every time. 
So one day I'll be able to cross that. First time I climbed something, next time higher, higher, higher. But Himalaya does not grow taller and taller. So one day I'll cross that. The very next expedition, he made it to the top of Himalayas. So, my dear friends, wherever you are today, if you think you can keep on improving, which you should strongly believe in, you'll be able to achieve anything in your lives. And therefore, trust yourself, trust that you can achieve anything. You can be, some of you could be the future Nobel Prize winners like Raman. Raman was like any one of you. Probably, we have many such talents in this country. India has lived for almost 90 years without a second Nobel Prize. I think that should come and that comes from people like you. And I conclude my talk by one other small thing, how you can do that. You have heard of a place called Agumbe. Agumbe is in, in the Western Ghats. It's extremely, probably, the world's one of the best places to live in and see that beauty. One day, a middle-aged man had climbed to, climbed to the top very early hours. Morning, 6 o'clock, he went up. By about 9, 9.30, he was on top of the hill. And after spending some time there, this fellow was climbing down. By that time, the heat was high because it was summer. You know, just as it's full of greenery, it is also very hot in the summer. He was profusely sweating as he was coming down. Takes his handkerchief, keeps on taking out the sweat. He fans himself with little air. He was struggling to come down. Best of age, 30, 35, he was quite strong at that age. Uh, everybody is strong at that age. He was struggling. And he saw, sees a small little girl, hardly 12, 13 year old girl, carrying a small boy of four years in, the, in her shoulder. Because most people understand Canada, I thought, this story is written in Canada, I, I thought I'll make it in Canada. Abhasha de on socks irate. Even in Martha Nambo Kagala, eh, Nani Kasta Patai, then he would give Niraya Swagatkondo Tai Dalant, eh, would give Nintko, Nintko, eh, Bogo, Nina Karita Radun, Kukta Laidan, eh, our Gadramel pregnant, a loud part got better than Dada 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 Octai Dada. After four or five calls, the girl stops. Yen re at the Kugurin. Alan in on Chotu the idea, Kanklal on Mogun Bere, Etkun, better hat tai, the Alan Indian Barailba. I'll help that I am not tamarin again. Barai don't. Nivu physics, chemistry, maths, biology, and idea la. Adela nim tamma tangi ag better nim yenu barai rala. A ten singen guri. He hen mogu kate. That can change your lives. Thank you very much. Jeeva na dalii. Guri ya jote ke satat vadanta prayat nanta kanta didre yesh swanta kanta do khandi tvaglo nama benna hinde eratte anodke sakastu udhar negala mukanta tumba duri agi matna dadanta ha shriyuta nagra jo sarabrige rutpur ko dadanta dhene vadagala na heluta yega karikramada mukhya atiti gala agi agam sirta kanta ha Ramachandra Raja eras sarabra vyakti pariche vana mati kordi dare Dr. Purnima Madam sarabro. Shriyuta Ramarat Shriyuta Ramachandra Raja Aras Ravaru Basava Raja Aras Agu Nilamani Dampatigala Suputra Ragi Mysuru Jille Piria Patana Taloku Barasi Ali Saur Dumbai Nura Aravatela Randu Jansidru MA PhD Padavidhara Radha Shriyutaru Probationary Adhikariyagi Saur Dumbai Nura Tombatanal Karali Sarvajanika Sikshana Ilaki Ali Rutianu Arandisidaru Modalige Prouda Shala Mukya Sikshakaragi Sarkari Prouda Shale Kampala Pura Ili Seve Prarandisida Shri Utaru Nantara Kshetra Sampal Muna Samanvaya Adhikariyagi Piriya Patanadali Karya Nirvahisidare Anantara Ilaki Ali Bharti Padedu Kshetra Kshetra Sikshana Adhikariyagi Mandia Uttara Ilige Vargavane Hondidaru Tadanantara Piria Patna Talokinali Kshetra Sikshana Adhikariyagi 
ಚಾಮರಾಜನಗರ ಡಿವೈಎಸ್ಪಿಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಗುಂಡ್ಲುಪೇಟೆ ತಾಲೂಕಿನ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣಾಧಿಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ಕೂಡಿಗೆ ಡಯಟ್ನ ಹಿರಿಯ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸಕರಾಗಿ ಸೋಮಾರಪೇಟೆ ತಾಲೂಕಿನ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣಾಧಿಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ಉಡುಪಿ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯ ಉಪನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರ ಕಚೇರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣಾಧಿಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ಉಪಹಾರ ಯೋಜನೆಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣಾಧಿಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ಇಲೆ ಇಲಾಖೆಯ ವಿವಿಧ ಸ್ತರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಸಾವಿರದ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಬಡ್ತಿ ಹೊಂದಿದ ಶ್ರೀಯುತರು ರಾಜ್ಯ ಕಚೇರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಉಪನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರಾಗಿ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೊಂದು ಜುಲೈ ತಿಂಗಳಿಂದ ಮೈಸೂರು ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯ ಉಪನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರಾಗಿ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಅಸಾಧಾರಣ ಪ್ರತಿಭೆಯುಳ್ಳಂತಹ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಶ್ರೀಯುತರ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಪರಿಚಯವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟಂಥ ಮೇಡಮ್ ರವರಿಗೆ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾದಂಥ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳುತ್ತಾ ಈಗ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳಾದ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ರಾಜ ಅರಸರವರು ಸಮಾರಂಭವನ್ನ ಕುರಿತಂತೆ ಮಾತನಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿ ಕೋರಿಕೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ತಮ್ಮನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಕುರಿತು ಮೌಲ್ಯಾಧಾರಿತವಾದಂಥ ಮಾತುಗಳನ್ನು ಆಡಿದಂಥ ಹಿರಿಯರು ಆದಂಥ ನಾಗರಾಜರವರೇ ಸಮಾರಂಭದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರೂ ಆದಂಥ ಶ್ರೀದೇವಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ರವರೇ ಸಭಾಂಗಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗಮಿಸಿರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೇ ನಲ್ಮೆಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಪತ್ರಕರ್ತರ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೇ ಬಹುಶಃ ಇವತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಉತ್ತಮವಾಗಿ ಆಯೋಜನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಸಹಕಾರ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಬೆಂಬಿಡದೆ ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಬಾರಿ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿದರು ನಾನು ಬಹಳ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಒತ್ತಡದಲ್ಲಿದ್ದೆ ಆದರೂ ಸಹ ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಐಯಿಂದ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗಾಗಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮಾಡ್ತಾಯಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ನಾನು ತಡ ಮಾಡದೆ ಅವರ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನು ಕಳಿಸ್ಕೊಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಮತ್ತು ನಾನು ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ತುಂಬ ಆಸಕ್ತಿಯಿಂದ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ನನಗೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಸಿಕ್ತು ನಾನು ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಗಂಟೆಯಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಬರೋವರೆಗೂ ಸಹ ನನಗೆ ಬಿಡುವಿಲ್ಲದೆ ಇರೋಂಥ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಭೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಸಭೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕೇಳಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸುರೇಶನ ಏನಾಯಿತು ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಪಾಪ ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾನೆಲ್ಲ ಆದೇಶ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತಂದರು ಪುನಃ ಹದಿ ಐದೈದು ನಿಮಿಷಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕೊನೆಗೆ ನನಗೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಬಂತು ಅವ್ರು ಏನು ನಿರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಮಾಡಿದರು ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಆಗ ನಾನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ತೃಪ್ತಿ ಆದೆ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅವರು ಪಾಪ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನು ಕುರಿತು ಏನು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಅದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲೋ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಪಂದನೆ ಇದೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರು ಸಹ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಯನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನನಗೆಲ್ಲೋ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಯಿತು ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನಾನು ನೋಡ್ದು ಮಿಲೆಟ್ಸನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಬಳಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಹೇಗೆ ಪ್ರಮೋಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಕೆಲಸ ಏನು ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಏನು ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಅರ್ಥ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗುವ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಚಿತ್ರಗಳ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ತುಂಬ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿತವಾಗಿ ಇವತ್ತು ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಸರ್ ಸಿ ವಿ ರಾಮನ್ರವರ ಜನ್ಮದಿನ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಜೋಡಣೆ ಮಾಡಿರೋದು ಇನ್ನೂ ಉಪಯುಕ್ತವಾಯಿತು ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಉದ್ದೇಶ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಓದಬೇಕು ನಾನು ಇನ್ನೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ತಿಳ್ಕೊ
ಆದರೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಥ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಿದೆ ಇಂಥ ಸಭಾಂಗಣದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಕೂತಿದ್ದೆ ಇಂಥವ್ರು ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಉಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇದೊಂದು ಸುದೀನ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಭಾವಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಇದೇನು ಪನಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಥವಾ ಏನು ಒತ್ತಾಯಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಲಾಭ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮಾಹಿತಿಯನ್ನು ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರು ಮತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕುಟುಂಬಕ್ಕೆ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಬಹುಶಃ ಮಿಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಇದೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಹಳ್ಳಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಇವತ್ತು ಏನು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಇದನ್ನು ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸೂಕ್ತ ಆಯ್ದ ಜಾಗಗಳಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ನಾವು ಬೆಳೆಯನ್ನು ನೋಡಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ದುಡ್ಡು ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಸಿಗ್ಬೋದು ಇವತ್ತು ಮೈಸೂರಿನಲ್ಲೋ ಅಲ್ಲೋ ಇಲ್ಲೋ ಅದು ಎಷ್ಟಾಗಿದೆ ನಾವು ಕೇಳಿದಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರಮಾಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವೇನೋ ದುಡ್ಡಿದೆ ಒಂದು ಕುಂಟಾಲ್ ಕೊಡಿ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಕೊಡೋ ಆ ಸ್ಥಿತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲ ಆವತ್ತು ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದೇ ನಾವು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಇನ್ನು ನೋಡೋದು ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಅದ್ರ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಆದರೆ ಅದ್ರ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಬಹುಶಃ ಹಿಂದಿನ ನಮ್ಮ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗಳು ಅಥವಾ ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಹಿಂದೆ ಇದ್ದವರು ಬಹುಶಃ ಇವತ್ತು ಏನು ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನಗಳನ್ನು ಅವ್ರು ಬಳಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಿದವ್ರ ರೀತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ನಾವು ಹೇಳಿದಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳದೆ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆದರೆ ಮಿಲೆಟ್ಸನ್ನು ಬಳಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಇತ್ತು ಅವ್ರ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿತ್ತು ಮತ್ತು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ಕುರಿತು ಇವತ್ತು ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಉಳಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಬೆಳೆಸ್ಬೇಕು ಪ್ರಮೋಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ಅದಿದ್ದರೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಕೆಲಸಗಳಾಗಬೇಕಾಯಿತು ಯಾವಾಗ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಿ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವೋ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಇದನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಮತ್ತು ಇದರ ಅನುಕೂಲವನ್ನು ಬೇರೆಯವರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಸಾರ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇ ಆದರೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಅದನ್ನು ನಂಬಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ರೈತರಿಗೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡ್ದಂಗೆ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಾಗ್ತದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳನ್ನು ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮತ್ತು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ಜಾಹೀರಾತು ಇತ್ಯಾದಿಗಳನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವೇ ಅನುಭವಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಜಾಹೀರಾತು ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ನಾವು ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡನ್ನು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆಲಸಗಳನ್ನು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಬಹುಶಃ ಇದು ಉಪಯುಕ್ತವಾದಂಥ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಕರೆಸಿ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನೋಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರು ಸರ್ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮತ್ತು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ವೇದಿಕೆ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ತುಂಬ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿತವಾದಂಥ ಸ್ಥಳದಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ನಡೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ನಾನು ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಯಿತು ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನು ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ದಿನ ಕೂರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೋ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆ ಏನಿತ್ತು ನಾವು ಹೇಗಿದ್ದೋ ಇವತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ನಾವು ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ನಾನಂತೂ ವೈಯಕ್ತಿಕವಾಗಿ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನು ನೆನೆಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಇನ್ನೂ ಇದೇ ರೀತಿಯ ಹಲವಾರು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳನ್ನು ನೀವು ಮಾಡಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಇಲಾಖೆಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆ ನಾವು ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ನೀವು ಯಾವಾಗ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೂ ಸಹ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಹಾಯ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ನನ್ನ ಕರೆಸಿ ಅವಕಾಶ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿ ನನ್ನ ಎರಡು ಮಾತು ಮುಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಜೈ ಹಿಂದ್ ಜೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ದಿನದ ಮಹತ್ವವನ್ನು ಕುರಿತಂತೆ 
ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರು ಅಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಬರಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ಕೋಬೇಡಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಅರ್ಧ ಮಾರ್ಕು ಒಂದು ಮಾರ್ಕು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹರ್ಷಿತ ಶಿಲ್ಪ ಇಶಾ ಧನುಶ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಚರ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಕೆಲವು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಮನೆಗೆ ಹೋಗಿದ್ರು ಇರೋರು ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ನೀವು ಇರೋರು ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ ಅವರು ಸುರೇಶ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನಾವು ಎರಡು ಸ್ಕೂಲನ್ನು ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಹಂಗಾಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅವ್ರವ್ರ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ವಿದ್ ಇವರು ಗುರುಗಳು ತೊಗೊಂಡೋಗಿ ಕೊಡ್ಬೋದು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಳೆ ಅವು ಐದು ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಇದೆ ಐದು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಇದೆ ನೊ ದೇವಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇದೆ ಹರ್ಷಿತ ಶಿಲ್ಪ ಇಶಾ ಧನುಶ್ರೀ ಇಂಚರ ಅದು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗದೆ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮೇಸ್ಟ್ರಿಗೂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನೇ ಕೇಳಿಪ್ಪ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನೇ ಕೇಳಿ ಇಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡಿ ಇವಾಗ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನೇ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅಂತ ಬನ್ನಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳ Second prize is for group 8, Ghanavi, Anu Vaishnavi, Syed Afiya, Shreyas, Navya Shri. ಬನ್ನಿ ನವ್ಯಶ್ರೀ ಮೂರನೇ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ನಾಲ್ಕು ರಾಘವಿ ಶ್ವೇತಶ್ರೀ ಲಿಖಿತ ಬೌರಮ್ಮ ಅನನ್ಯ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದ್ರೆ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ನಾಳೆ ಕೊಡಿ ಆಯ್ತಾ
Bueno, listo. Para abrir, que se va a hacer. Nada de corto de ese manual. धन्यवाद एक लोग मक्कली के बहुमान वन वितरित सिद्धांत है गणेरी के रुद्रपुर को आदमी तथा धन्यवाद एक लोग नतीली सुता ये का राष्ट्रीय विज्ञान दिन मतों सीरीज धन्य एक लोग जिज्ञा सा कार्यक्रम दा समारोपा समारंभ दा अध्यक्ष ते नवाई सिर्फा सीएसआईआर सीएफटी आरएन केंद्र बिंदु कार्यक्रम अधर रुवारी गुलु है मैं निर्देशक रु आधा श्रीमती डॉक्टर श्रीदेवी अनापुर्णा सिंह रावरा व्यक्ति परिचय मारी कोटली दारे पुनीमा मैडम रावरो निपुण आहार तंत्र ने हागु सक्रिय समस्त की आग्रवा डॉक्टर श्रीदेवी अनापुर्णा सिंह रावरो मायसूरी ना ये समस्ते सीएसआईआर सीएफटी आर इना निर्देशक की आगे जनवरी इपत्तू इपत्तो अंदर अली सेवेस प्रारंभिक सितारे डॉक्टर श्रीदेवी अवरु सावर दोम्बई नोरा यंबत एंटर अली इधे समस्ते अली स्नातकोतरा पदवे अन्नो पढ़े दो नंतरा किसान प्रोडक्ट लिमिटेड बेंगलुरी नली अल्पावधि काला सेवेस अली सिर नंतरा इधे समस्ते अल्ली मुख्य विज्ञानी आगे हागु प्रोटीन केमिस्ट्री विभाग दा मुख्य स्तर आगे वो कार्य सल्वेसिरु तारे साउर दोंबा इनुरा तोंबा तारु तोंबा तेंटर आवधि अल्ली डॉक्टर एमजी अपूरा अवर मार्गदर्शन अदली पीएचडी पदवी अनु पढ़े दु नंतरा प्रतिष्ठिता डैड फेलोशिप नंदिगे उन्नत रुत्ति जीवन अदली वरु आहार विज्ञान अदली मूलभूत आगो आन्विका विज्ञान येरड़ा रल्लु व्यापक वागी कैलसमाडी वैज्ञानिका कोड़ेगे गड़ा नोनी डिरोतारे प्रमुख वागी तीव्र अपाउष्टिकते माल न्यूट्रिशन इन्द बड़लु तिरुवा मक्कली गागी पाउष्टकाम्श युत्ता आहार द मेले समस्तने गड़ा नु इधर लदे आरु पीएचडी विद्यार्थी गणनु आगु नलवत्तु स्नातकोतरा पदवी विद्यार्थी गलिगे समस्तने यली मार्गदर्शन वनु निडित्तर प्रस्तुता इवरु एफएससीआई बीएएस आईसीएमआर इन्ह तरा समस्ते गला गवर्निंग काउंसिल सदस्य रा अग्यू कार्य निर्वाही सुतिदारे अध्यक्ष रा परिचय वन मार्ग कोटन्ता नुडिदरे मुत्ति ना हारा दंतिर बेको, नुडिदरे मानी के दीप्ति अंतिर बेको, नुडिदरे स्पटी का दशला के अंतिर बेको, नुडिदरे लिंग मिची अहुद अहुदे ना बेको, हाउ दो, हिता मिता मृदु बाशिकरा दंतह समस्ते या हम्मे या निर्देश करागिरुवा, डॉक्टर श्रीदेवी अन्नपूर्णा मैडम रवरो कार्यक्रमों ना � Hello, good morning. Vedic Mele, Upasthita Radha Ganyarge, Hago Muthu Makkale. All are tired, all are tired. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. How did you like the program today? Yes. Did you see the CFTR? Did you see the CFTR? Yes. 
ರಾಗಿ ಮುದ್ದೆ ಮೇಷಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯ ಅಂತ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸಿರಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ನನ್ನ ಮಾತೃಭಾಷೆ ತೆಲುಗು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿರಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬಂಗಾರ ಚಿನ್ನ ಸೊ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇನ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮಿಲ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲೋಡೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಶರೀರದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬ್ರೇನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ನೋಸ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಈಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ವೆಲ್ ನರಿಷ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆಲ್ ನರಿಷ್ಡ್ ಯು ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ you will feel tired by evening isn't it and you will not be healthy today in india you know how many people are diabetic 1 in 4 nag janan tagondre obburu diabetes nag janaralli obburge heart disease makkalgalla doddorge adre iginda neevu chenag tindre you will be healthy all your life adralli millets are power houses of nutrients so that doesn't mean that you have to eat only millets yakandre there is no one grain which will give you all the nutrients that you require so you need to have menu diversity but millets are good for health so at least one meal in your day please do have millets okay congratulations to all the prize winners hope that you will win many more prizes and you will make us feel proud okay i also thank our uh, honorable ddpi of uh, uh, mysore for having uh, found time in his very very busy schedule to come over here we are really honored to welcome you in our campus i also thank professor nagraju thank you very much for coming ಸರಳ ಸುಂದರವಾಗಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದಂಥ ಮೇಡಮ್ ರವರಿಗೆ ಋತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾದಂಥ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳುತ್ತಾ ಆರೋಗ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಅನುಕೂಲಕರವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳ ಪೌಡರನ್ನು ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಗಣ್ಯರು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ಕೆಲವು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ವಿತರಿಸಬೇಕಾಗಿ ಕೋರಿಕೆ ಈ ಸುಂದರ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಮಯದ ಅಭಾವವಿದ್ದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಇಷ್ಟು ಸಮಯಗಳ ಕಾಲ ನಮ್ಮೊಂದಿಗೆ ಇದ್ದಂತಹ ಗಣ್ಯರಿಗೆ ಈಗ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಸಣ್ಣ ಸನ್ಮಾನ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮೊದಲಿಗೆ 
कार्यक्रम अतिथि गौरव अतिथि आगमक श्रीयुत नागरजु सरवर के गौरव समर्पण नडसको संस्था हमे निर्देशक श्रीमती अन्नपूर्णादेवी सिंग् मैडम एच एस एन ख्यातर भौतशास्त्र प्राध्यापक श्रीयुत एच एस नागरजूरवर नाड़ कत्यम शिक्षण तज्ञर आदर्श शिक्षक उदार मनसुलावर आगे श्रीयुत हलू शिक्षण संस्थे स्थापी अ उत्तम निर्वहणे ना नूरकू हूँ सिब्बंदी वर्गदे कूड़ा बी एस संस्थय तरगत हनर तरगत व्यार्थी के उत्कृष्ट व्यलय ईटी वैद्यकू इंजीनियरी कॉलेज प्रवेश अनुगुण तरबे व्यार्थी मनमुटे विज्ञान विषय कलिय प्रयोग मूलक कलिकली तुगु भौतशास्त्र रसायनशास्त्र जीवशास्त्र विंगड़न मीरी परपूर्ण विज्ञान शिक्षण पड़े महदासिया यह निटली प्रयोग एंब प्रायोगिक शिषण संस्थय स्थापी प्रौढ़शाला व्यार्थी के पठ्यपुस्तक विषय सरल प्रयोग मूलक अर्थस सन्मान स्वीक श्रीयुत हृत्पूर्वक धन्यवाद मुदे कार्यक्रम मुख्य अतिथि आगमित उप निर्देशकू कूड़ा किरद गौरव समर्पण श्रीयुत रामचंद्र राज अरसरव बसवराज अरस नीलमणि दंपति सुपुत्र मैसूर जिले पिियापण तूकु बारस दिनांक इपत् सविदर अरवे जन एम एम एड पदवीधर श्रीयुत प्रोवेशनरी अधिकारिया दिनांक इपत् सवि तार्वजनिक शिषण इलाख वृत्त आरंभ मोदी के प्रौढ़शाला मुख्य शिक्षक सरकारी प्रौढ़शाले कंपलापुर सेवे आरंभ श्रीयुत नर क्षेत्र संपन्मूल समन्वय अधिकारिया प्रियापट कार्य निर्वह आनता इलाख बढ़ती पड़े क्षेत्र शिक्षणाधिकारिया मंड्य उत्तर इले वर्गवणे प्रस्तुत मैसूर उत्तर वय सार्वजनिक शिषण इलाखे उप निर्देशक सेवन सल सी एफ टी आर शाल वत उप निर्देशक मत सण किणिका शाल प्रांशुपाल श्रीमती तंगम एम तेरेसरवर केलिका सी एफ टी आर व्यासंस्थय प्रांशुपाल श्रीमती तंगम एम तेरेसरव कार्यक्रम मुख्य अतिथि रामचंद्र राज अरसूरव गौरव किणिका समर्पुर कार्यक्रम अंतिम घट वंदनार्पणे नडसको डाक्टर अरुण कुमार सरवर कार्यक्रम को इट्स मै हमल रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ गिविंग वाट आफ थैंक्स टू एव्री वन फस्ट टू और रेस्पेक्टेड डेप्यूटी डैरेक्टर पब्ली इंस्ट्रक्षन डी डी पी ई सर मैसूर और तुम बहु बहुत बिड़वल कार्यक्रम नदे नमें वो अर्ध गंटे समय को सर तुम निम्बत् कार्यक्रम नमी नम संस्थे परवा नम निर्देशक परवा मत नम व्यार्थी परवा भागवर्थी परवा ना हृत्पूर्वक धन्यवाद समर्पस्ता सर और थैंक्स टू रेस्पेक्टेड नगर सर Uh, very senior and uh, very uh, uh, guider for all our students our margadarshan dinda bahalashtu vidyarthigalu unnata padaviyanna padididare sir nimma samayavanna namma sansthayalli kelededakke namma sansthaya paravagi rutpurvaka dhanyavadagalu sir namma sansthaya nirdeshakaru shrimati shridevi annapurna singh avara nirdeshanadante naavu ee karyakramana hambikondidivi avara प्रयत्न सल 
ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯವನ್ನು ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ಜನರಿಗೆ ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಮೂಡಿಸುವಂಥ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಸ ಸಂಪರ್ಕ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಸೊ ನಿಮಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಮೇಡಮ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಕಮಿಟಿ ಪರವಾಗಿ ತುಂಬ ಋತುಪೂರ್ವಕ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಲ್ಗೊಂಡ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಅವರ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರಿಗೆ ಅವರ ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಬಿ ಇಒ ಅವರನ್ನ ಪರ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಂತಹ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಅವರನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ತಲುಪಿಸಲು ಸಹಕಾರ ಮಾಡಿದಂಥ ನೋಡಲ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಐ ಶಾಲೆಯ ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿ ವರ್ಗದವರಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಉಮಾ ಮಂಜಪ್ಪರ ಮೇಡಮ್ ನೋಡಲ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಂ ಅವರ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಸಹಕಾರದೊಂದಿಗೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ತಂಡದ ಪ್ರತಿ ಸದಸ್ಯರಿಗೂ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಪ್ರಿಯದರ್ಶಿನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ ಮತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಮತ್ತು ವೈಜ್ಞಾನಿಕ ವೃಂದದವರಿಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಈ ಆಡಿಟೋರಿಯಮನ್ನು ಸಜ್ಜುಗೊಳಿಸಿದಂತಹ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಹಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ ತಂಡದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ವಸಂತ್ ಸರ್ಗೆ ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಐ ಶಾಲೆಯ ಕನ್ನಡ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರು ಸರ್ ಬಹಳ ಸುಂದರವಾಗಿ ನಿರೂಪಣೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ತಂಡದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಋತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಚಹಾ ಕೂಟದ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಚಹಾವನ್ನು ಪಡೆದು ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ತಂದಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸನ್ನು ಇದು ಒಂದು ಸಿಂಬಾಲಿಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸನ್ನು ತಗೊಂಡು ಮಿಲೆಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸನ್ನು ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಕಳಕಳಿಯ ಮನವಿ ವಂದನಾರ್ಪಣೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದಂತಹ ಅರುಣ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸರ್ ಕೂಡ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳುತ್ತಾ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಸುಸಂಪನ್ನಗೊಳಿಸೋಣ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಕಡೆಯದಾಗಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗೀತೆಯನ್ನು ಇವಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಎದ್ದು ನಿಂತುಕೊಂಡು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಕಡೆಯದಾಗಿ ಈಗ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗೀತೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಎದ್ದು ನಿಂತು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗೀತೆಯನ್ನು ಹಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿ ಕೋರಿಕೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು